what's going on. So we're getting ready to shoot the uh, Troublemaker again. Got it all sanded down over the last couple of days. Uh, ain't any ass. But you know, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, taking a little road trip right now. Going to get some more kerosene for the heater. rest of what I had in the heater and only gave me about uh, three quarters of a tank and uh, it's 28 degrees up here so it's gonna have to be running for a few hours to get it up to 70 before I can start throwing some lacquer so figured now's a good time to take a road trip Gotta go a couple towns away to get some K1 kerosene because they don't sell it in my town. I've looked many times. So, pick up some kerosene and we're gonna run out to Home Depot and pick up some more um, sandpaper. Because I pretty much used it all up, sanding all that finish off. And, uh, I mean, I got a drawer full of scraps I always keep my old sandpaper you never know what the hell you can use it for so but uh, it's always nice to have some new shit laying around too yeah I gotta tell you I was I was happy with the finish to start with but then I took it outside and looked at it and it just they were freaking it, uh, it just looked like freckles all over the fucking guitar Man, it pissed me off. This is one of the reasons why I absolutely hate finishing. I hate the finishing process. I'd love to find somebody that could fucking do it for me. I could just play with the wood. You know, cutting wood, sanding wood, putting guitars together. That's, that's my passion. That's what I love doing. finishing process, eh, nah, don't dig it, don't dig it at all, but if I, if I could find somebody to do the finishing process for me, you know, that would jack up the price of a guitar, because it's probably going to cost, God, it would probably cost four to five hundred dollars per guitar just to have somebody finish it, unless, you know, I could get a deal on it, you know, um, put three or four together and then drop them all off, maybe get a deal on, on doing it, but, like to keep the price of my guitars reasonable, you know, because what they say about starving musicians is true, they don't ever have any money, and I know because I've been one, spent, uh, most of the 90s playing out and working full time too and for some reason I still never ever managed to get to have you know a lot of money so I like to keep the prices reasonable so you know the working musician can afford a custom made guitar And especially the Troublemakers. Both of those guitars, I mean, they're very simple guitars. They're well built, but you know, they're still simple guitars, so. It's not like they're loaded with multi-laminate binding and extravagant inlays. Crazy wood, you know, it's just, this one's just mahogany. I hate finishing guitars. <laughs> All right, got the kerosene. Like I was saying before, it's uh, 30 degrees out. 
probably gonna have to have to heat it going for three, four hours before the garage heats up to 70 degrees. Uh, got the heater running in it now, so luckily I had enough kerosene left that uh, I could start it while we're while I'm taking this little road trip here. So we got the kerosene, now we're off to Home Depot for sandpaper. Napa. See if we can find some retarder. Home Depot doesn't carry it. So I got two places to check. I'll check uh, <clears throat> Napa and then uh, I think there's an auto zone around the corner. One of those places ought to carry it. fat no on the retarder at Napa uh, got an advanced auto parts across the street let's give them a shot if not then I'll have to order it online Looks like I'm going to have to buy it online.
bummer. All right. One last stop. Need to go to the bank. Get some spending cash for the week. My asshole. Jesus. <laughs> A little bit of road rage there, sorry. <laughs> Some people need to take up all three frickin' lanes when they're taking a turn. Okay, the heater's been going in the garage for about an hour and 15 minutes. Should notice a A little bit of a heat difference when I get in there. All goes to plan. I should be able to start spraying and like, is it warming up? No, it's still 30 degrees. Maybe another hour or two. Check it out once I get in, in the shop, see what it's like. This has got to be one of the most boring fucking videos I ever made. <laughs> fucking driving around. <sighs> Drive up ATM. Let's get back to the shop. Good thing about my, my garage is it faces south. And the good thing about that is the sun is going to be beating on the doors. So you get some radiant heat working through. Good during the winter, but it sucks during the summer. Anyway, let's get back home. goodies. Let's go see what's going on in the shop. See what the temperature's up to. See you in a bit. <laughs> 